So I was going to install a LMS that I found on GitHub into the JPX Fitness site, but I decided let me just see if I can create one and then just make that available as an alternative for anybody looking to add a LMS to their site. So I've not actually made something that I've shared on GitHub for everybody to use. I've seen loads of landing pages like here in the templates, we've got things like the admin dashboard. These are more useful, more up the road of what I'm hoping to do now today. Uh, and I think it will be really useful. We've even got this business directory website. I've not checked these out. I don't want to click on it because it's going to open it up. Um, but these wireframes are a good starting point. So maybe if you're hoping to create your own kind of educational platform or course platform, then this LMS that I create today, maybe you could start from that and then work your way outwards. So build the landing page and personalize it in your way so you don't have to build this aspect. So for this I've just been on this page and it's not quite what I'm going for for the fitness site but maybe we could use it as a template to work from so this is the unity course page it's a free course that they offer so I'm going to screenshot this uh, I'm not sure if lovable would be able to look at the URLs but before I give it that screenshot let's just make sure we don't miss anything let's do a deep research and see I am hoping to create a boilerplate LMS that I can share with my community that they can easily implement into their site and build upon. What are the best practices for creating an LMS? I quite like the setup and professional design of the Unity LMS. But give me some ideas that I could include and give to the AI code generator to build this reusable LMS template. This is pretty much my process for ideation. When I'm creating anything, I start with building out my idea because you may have an idea in your head, but you don't know. There are so many things that you don't know. So for example, monetization, didn't consider this because I'm thinking from my own perspective, which is the site's already built, it's already paid for. Uh, so maybe this isn't something we need to include in the LMS itself. Maybe it is, not sure. Uh, customization and scalability, should this be a lightweight LMS? LMS that users can expand on easily or should it come with robust pre-built functionality I'm thinking lightweight tech stack are you planning to build this LMS yeah so very important things of course if I'm giving this straight to lovable it knows what the tech stack is but because I want to build this idea out a bit better let's just go with this so we're going to are you planning to build on a specific technology and then I'm just going to put the answer right there who will be using this LMS do you have any must have features gamification quizzes progress I'm going to include all of those taking the above research into consideration please turn this into a knowledge rules file and a project requirement document as well as a detailed prompt to give to the AI code generator. So it's creating the rules file. Okay, we don't need milestones. Okay, these are very simple files. So I think this is too simplified and I prefer to try my luck with, let's see, let's give it the prompt and then what I'm going to do, I'll write the prompt here and then we'll see how much it can fit of this initial research. I'm just going to throw all of this in there and see what it does. And I'm actually going to use this as my documentation just because it's got so much information going on in it. I've not checked over it, but it did the research and I'm happy with it. It looks like it took everything. Whether it's going to consider all of this in the prompt is another story, but let's give it a go. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't attach. Oh, how do I stop it? I can't stop it. So I didn't attach the screenshot of Unity, which is what I was hoping to, but let's see what it does with the information it's got. It's got so much information and it looks like it's mapped out quite a few different things things and I have to remember that I want this to be fairly basic so anybody can just take it and improve on it and work on it so let's see the key is with these templates is that it saves you a few messages it's, it saves you quite a few prompts having to start it from scratch so you can just get it to install it uh, in the same way that you can see different templates different features on 21st.dev they've got all these different templates and features and things that people have designed just to speed up the workflow and to find interesting things that you can add to your builds, add to your projects. 
It's doing quite a lot in its initial prompt. It's actually doing a lot more than I expected. It may be due to 3.7. I know it's doing the bare minimum, but it's really trying to cover the wireframe and do everything that I've mapped out. Doing the login, register, dashboard. My only concern now is that I'm still gonna need to build a specific LMS for the fitness site because I've already built the login and all of those things. But this is a cool project to share on GitHub again for anybody who wants to build something like this and doesn't want to have to go through all of these stages. You can just take it as is and then build upon it. For the first version, I'll implement these core features, user authentication, course listing and viewing, basic lesson management, simple quiz functionality, progress tracking. I'll use the following design elements, color palette, monochromatic with subtle accent, colors like blues, soft grays, typography, clean, modern. Okay, looks like everything else okay so this is what the page looks like because i didn't give it the image for the unity course so i'm going to give it this now because i still do like the look of this all right so here's what the lms is looking like so a few features added light and dark mode which should be present on all pages uh, let's go back to light mode. I think it looks better. Um, so everything should be, every single link should have a root, meaning it should have a, a template, basic design. So pricing table. And then to get to the dashboard, you have to log in. So we've got the user demo credentials and admin demo credentials, which we're going to go into in a second. When you go to browse courses, you've got the courses here. And this is what the course page looks like so you've got the video then the course text content and then to swap between tabs you've got the information here the breadcrumbs which takes you back to the course page sorting what else is there about us demo page contact demo careers cool demo terms of service privacy cookie all the non-fun things. And we go over to login here. First, we're gonna check out the user. So put the dummy credentials in. So login, that's going to take us straight to, back to the course page. And we've got my profile, so the dashboard, you've got enrolled courses, completed, progress, learning time, and then any courses that you add or browse to add them. And then we log out and the admin dashboard is more designed for the single user. So not to be like a teachable platform, but for the user. So if you're building a course platform for yourself, so you're offering your own educational content and you don't want to have to pay a thousand a year or I think my Kajabi was 1900, 1800 a year. And you can just build on those features and all you have to do is connect it to Superbase. So your courses, everything will be held in Superbase, your videos, the courses you want, the videos you want to show, uh, you can create any quizzes, all of those things you can create. You don't have to sign up for Kajabi or Teachable or anything like that. So you have a full analytics dashboard for it and you can add any other metrics that you want to track. And then on settings, you've got some basic SEO, you've got email, SMTP, and then payments. So you can put the Stripe API key, web, webhook secret, set notifications up, user management, security, integration, so automation, Zoom, things like that and then embed custom code so if you need to put the analytics or different meta tags in the head the body uh, start code and encode there's some basic things to build upon but a really good template for anybody who's looking to set up their own course or educational platform nice clean and professional design so i've added this to the idea to mvp school community I'm going to be creating a bunch of different templates like this and also some additional ideas for what's missing, what you could build out and then what you have to tell it to connect to Superbase because of course this is just basic templates and everything designed but everything needs to be connected to Superbase. For example, uh, the user, user management, you'll be able to do it from the admin 
as a CMS, but you have to connect it to Superbase or Firebase or whichever backend you choose. Likewise with the payment, these aren't going to do anything unless they are connected to Superbase. So you have to tell it to connect this to Superbase. So I'm going to share the prompts that will help you do this quite easily to set up the SQL migrations and whatnot in Superbase, and then the ideas for how you can improve on this template. Again, if you want to get this and all of my other templates, scripts, automations, these are all going to be going in the idea to MVP school community. This and so, so much more. You do not want to miss out. The link is in the description.